Okay, we're showing the CS65X here. Um, the pause mode does not work the same way as on the CS65 unit. Um, when the pause key is hit and then the, is previewed and played back on the 65 unit, it doesn't show all the delayed time. For some reason, there is a glitch in the CS65X, the way it was uh, altered, and when the select button is, is used to pause the video, it also then continues to tally up time on the video itself. So you can see here, the video has been paused while we locate the routes that were on the screen for the inspection we just did today, and the time is counting by, um, so we're actually having to watch the paused video, which doesn't make any sense. And we just did a test on our CS65 unit, and when you preview the unit and upload the regular video files, it certainly doesn't show all that delayed time. It instantly stops it and then immediately starts back up with no time in between. But as you can see here, we're on a constant countdown here with the image not changing and nothing moving while we pause the video during this um, cycle that we're on. So now in playback mode, we're having to sit here and wait for all this time to go by instead of the video just starting right back up. Now, I don't know how long we had to wait, but we're going to show this image here for a little bit because when we started the CS65X back up again, we had the same vertical hold problem, which occurred earlier that um, we had spoken with Myra and sent an email about on the first time we used the 65X unit. So we're going to have to just sit here because, unfortunately, the feature that we were hoping was going to be upgraded so hasn't. There's no fast-forward mode. And so, obviously, this is a big problem here where the new unit is showing all the pause time recording. This video shows it's 33 minutes long, which is not even close. We had it paused for such a long period of that 33 minutes, but we're having to sit here and watch it all. So we're going to have to do the same thing here while we're using another camera to show this screen um, until that we start back up. And again, we're doing this. You can see the vertical hold issue that we had, almost like an old-style TV. The image starts rolling from top to bottom. So we're using a 65 unit to record this to make a separate quick video since this other video is 33 minutes long. And uh, we didn't want to have to make another copy. So... We're going to have to wait here for a minute or two, and hopefully this will be starting back up here shortly. We're still here waiting. Uh, again, for some reason, this 65 unit, uh, the way it's either been programmed or it's a defect in my unit, um, we're again having to sit here wait during the pause mode when it should be not recording while it's being paused. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, we should be coming up here. We've only got seven minutes. Here we go.
approximately three and a half feet deep. We have it marked um, right on the edge of the retaining wall. Okay, it looks like, as you can hear, we're going through the next phase, but we haven't come to that spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause our video while we're waiting for this to show back up. Okay, here you can see our image on our screen is cut in half. We've got the video paused while we were located at another section of a clean out. And so you can see on the screen there's a line right here running across approximately about one-fifth down the screen. The image has been cut and rolled down part of the way. So we're going to stay here during this mode here and see if it starts to roll once we turn the video back on which it did when we had it live so uh, you can see that there's a definite defect in the way this is putting the image on the screen here so we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna hear us unpause the other uh, one we're looking at here shortly when we come back from locating it and we should see it scroll up and down from top to bottom. Should be starting up relatively soon here. Uh, again, we're still waiting because of how this unit is paused um, and, and we're having to watch the pause mode for some reason. We've got just barely over two minutes left on the complete video, so it should be happening relatively soon here, where it starts back up here. Again, you can see the split screen. That top of the screen with the little line mark, that should be at the very bottom. That's the bottom of the image. And it is some reason froze and locked up uh, as a vertical hold, whatever you want to call it, has moved it um, during this pause mode. And then it starts to move once we start it back up here. So should be, well, I have a minute and a half left, so it should be starting back up here very shortly.
Okay, there you go. I mean, screen is rotating. Okay, so we just pause that video at the very end. So you can see that's the defect we had happen two times previous. So this time we actually recorded it. Um, we had to go ahead and shoot it on another uh, monitor system um, because we also didn't realize that the system was recording uh, all the time of the pause mode. So that's another major defect, whether it's our unit or all the 65Xs. So um, that concludes this recording.